Hey everybody, welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our October 19th fishing report for the Jersey Shore. Guys, if you haven't already entered our October Striper Contest, make sure you're sending us your uh, reports. Uh, the largest striper you're catching for your chance to win our prize pack from our sponsors. And you will also get a Jersey Boys sticker. So you definitely want to get entered for that. And you got to send them to us. We can't come find you. Um, right now, the current leader is James Daughtry. Uh, with this nice fish right here. So we'll see if he's able to hold on to that through the rest of our report today. That's right. That's right. We won't, won't, don't want to give anything away. <laughs> uh, is that it? We're going to get into our That's report? That's it. We're ready to go. Got, a, got cobwebs hanging over my microphone here. we got to get our cleaning service in here. I don't know what's going on. I think that's us. us. We yeah, that's true. We don't clean very well in here. But <laughs> just caught my eye. I was like, what the heck is this thing hanging over my microphone? All right, let's get into our report. We got Paul Neese and James Yost. Uh, we're up in the Raritan Bay. They were doing a combination of trolling with mojo rigs and pitching the side banks with six-inch shad on three-ounce jigs. They were able to land 30 fish one day and 25 the next. The most, uh, most of the fish range between 24 to 28 inches, and the largest being this 36-inch striper caught by Paul. So, not a bad day uh, out there for them. Not two days for them. Uh, Jason from uh, Ski Fish and Enjoy Life is staying at it on the beaches of North Jersey. Uh, he is pitching an SP minnow from the surf, staying mostly in the white water. He says there is nothing magical happening yet, and the fish are there as long as you are willing to put in an ungodly amount of cast for them. And that's those are his words, not mine. So, uh, you know, so you got to work for him. He says largest fish this week was his uh, 34 incher. He said most of his fish are coming in less than three feet of water. Sam Panko was able to get a few times this week. He started out by fishing LBI surf for stripers using bunker chunks, but was only able to land a couple of dogfish. Uh, then he switched it up and went uh, there's some tog. He was fishing the Barnegat Inlet. Uh, he was fishing off the jetty using green crab and sand fleas with a 2 octopus hook. He said the action was hot most of the morning. He was able to land this nice 16 and a half inch keeper on his fourth cast. He said he also saw several other people on the jetty catching keepers as well. Uh, he ended his week by uh, chasing some stripers around LBI bridges, but was only able to catch... Some schoolies using a white Kettle Creek paddle tail and a three-quarter ounce jig head. Uh, and then finally, I have Carl Chen, who is out with some OG American anglers. Uh, they were fishing in Barnegat Inlet as well for uh, uh, TOG. Uh, they fished from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, Carl said it was nonstop action with lots of shorts. Uh, he said he was able to pull in this one 17-inch keeper. Uh, they are using sand fleas, green crab, and shrimp. All right, and I got Dustin Robinson. He was out with his son, Ian, there in the Mulligan River when Ian was able to land his first striper, this nice 31-incher. Uh, Dustin was also able to land this 29-incher. Uh, they were using eels and swim shad. Uh, Brian Haslam, one of the Mystic Misfits, uh, he was up in the Sandy Hook area using a topwater popper when he was able to catch this nice striper. And with this fish, Brian takes the lead for our October Striper Contest uh, knocking out dust, just uh, James, the uh, James uh, Dodge, Daughtry. James Daughtry. Yeah, yeah. His fish was only forty one inches, so that lets you know that. I mean, only it's not it's not it's salt. Well, James, compared but. to what uh, <laughs> Brian just got, is only forty one. So. That's true. It's only not big enough, I guess. So <laughs> only not but, big enough. So, yeah. so you know, the current leader is bigger than forty one inches. Uh, inches, <laughs> inches, forty one inches. 41 inches. 41 inches. <laughs> I wonder if that was the uh, magic school bus uh, color. Yeah, he didn't talking, say. Right? He didn't say what color. Didn't that's, say. That's Just been the top the, water. That's been, that's, been, that's been the hot the hot. been one of their the favorites, Mystic, right? The Misfits is that uh, magic school bus. Yeah, so now I got uh, Dave Minnick, uh, one of the Manic Anglers. He was out of the Barnegat Light using green crabs when he was able to pull in this nice 16 and a half inch tog. Then on Saturday, he was fishing the Merchantville Fishing Club Tournament in Surf City. His team top-notch talk. Uh, tackle my goodness I'm yeah, reset. Yeah, reset here. <laughs> his team top-notch tackle uh took second place and here's dave with his 14 and a half inch kingfish and finally i have uh manny dylan he was out with his two boys at the barnacle light using a rig they learned how to tie from bayside dave and uh baited with the sand fleas they were able to land a couple tog all three of them were able to pull in a tog so they had a great day on the water fishing Hey, listen, if you want to find out how to do some tog fishing, we have a video with uh, that we did with Dave. We'll put that up here and also down below. Uh, it's great it's great info and uh, really kind of gives you the the, um, the the 411 on on how to go out there and catch tog off the jetties. So, That's right. It was cool. It was fun video. to do. Yeah. All right, guys. Good luck on the water. Make sure you send us your reports. See you next week. <laughs>